dear professional colleagues today i am going to discuss with a, an interesting topic can insolvency proceeding can be initiated under ibc 2016 against an individual or a partnership firm does the principal follow borrower has to be a corporate entity in order to maintain the proceedings under the insolvency and bankruptcy code 2016 shortly known as ibc this has to be decided by supreme court very soon conflict in various benches of nclt the recent decision of various benches of national company law tribunal conflict on the issue of whether a sole proprietorship concern is covered under the term person under section 3 sub section 23 of the insolvency and bankruptcy code 2016 which is determinative of who is entitled to initiate a corporate insolvency process sai kriba associates versus k star natural resources private limited new delhi bench of nclt in this case observed that since the operational creditor was a sole proprietorship concern the petition should have been filed in the name of the sole proprietor and not in the name of the proprietorship concern hence the petition was dismissed in rg steels versus berries automatic ancillaries private limited new delhi branch the same branch of nclt held that section 3 sub section 23 of the insolvency bankruptcy code 2016 which defines the term person does not include a sole proprietorship concern within its ambit observed that it was prima facie evident that the operational creditor that is rg steels was a sole proprietorship concern and hence was not entitled to approach nclt on its own kolkata bench of nclt in kishore and company versus t balaji metallics private limited these two cases are in sharp contrast the above two cases what we have discussed are in sharp contrast with the observation made by kolkata bench in the, of the nclt in the kishore and company versus shri balaji metallics private limited in that case the corporate debtor objected on the ground that petition has been filed by a sole proprietorship concern in response to that nclt calcutta bench noted that application filed by mrs kishore and company being represented by its sole proprietor is legal and is maintainable the objects regarding the maintainability raised on the side of the corporate debtor was found to be unsustainable lakshmi pat surana versus union bank of india this is very interesting case where nclt and uh, nclt held in favor of lakshmi bai surana but uh, the case has been now up- appealed to supreme court the supreme court would analyze the issue that has been ca- cropped up in an appeal against a verdict rendered by nclat in this case the financial creditor has filed an application against a partnership firm under section 7 of the ibc nclt held that such an application is maintainable the nclt new delhi bench held that it is maintainable in nclt the decision was appealed before the nclat it was argued by the nclat that an application can be filed only against a corporate debtor and hence the same is bad in law as in this the debtor is a partnership firm it is not maintainable it was further argued as per the section 5a of the ibe code 2016 to commence the insolvency proceedings against the corporate guarantor both the principal debtor and guarantor must be corporate entities or corporate debtor as explained in section 37 subsection 7 and section 3 subsection 8 of the code in this case the nclat dismissed the appeal and held that corporate debtor being a corporate person and registered under the company act 2013 which had guaranteed the surety in regard to contract which the with the debtor firm or proprietary concern as the case may be as per section 145 of the indian contracts act 1872 in respect of every contract of guarantee there is an implied promise of the principal debtor to the indemnify the surety thus nclat found that the financial debt includes a debt owned by a creditor by a principal and a guarantor when a guarantor fails to pay the 
state to the financial creditor when the principal amount is demanded which will no doubt fall under the ambit of default under section 3 subsection 12 of the IBC code proceedings under section 7 of the IBC code can be initiated by a financial creditor who had taken the guarantee in respect of debt against a guarantor for failure to repay the money borrowed by the principal borrower to put it plainly Mrs Surana Metallics Limited is the corporate debtor and that the appellant is the proprietor firm of the Mrs Mahavir Cons- Construction Supreme Court stayed the the operation of order of the NCLAT in the above case till the next hearing which has been posted to the last week of August 2020 thus the main question in this case to be decided by supreme court is whether a guarantor which is a partnership firm can be sued under section 7 of the IBC for the loan taken by a corporate debtor for which guarantor is a partnership firm supreme court bench has to decide this question of law very soon friends i think you will be like this information what i have given to you if you like it please like it share it and please subscribe my channel so that whenever issue new topics it will reach you directly thanking you once again rv shagar practicing company secretary